Hello everyone. Welcome to another problem solving video at chinta.com. The way I want you to look at this video is this. We start with a problem and then we learn the concept that's behind it. And I want you to pause this video at different points of time and solve this problem with me. So get a pen and paper. Let's solve this together and I'll go slow so that even if you were starting out with this sort of ideas, you should be able to follow along. My name is Ashwini Dashgupto. I'm a faculty at chinta.com. At Chinta, we have outstanding programs on mathematical sciences. You can check the link in the description for more details. Let's get started with this problem from ISI Entrance 2023. BSTAT BMATH entrance. It's a geometry problem and it says that ABC is a right angle triangle. Angle B is 90 degree, that's given. AC is given to be 1, the length of AC, the hypotenuse. And BC is X. Our goal is to find out the length of CD. Okay? So, how do we go about this problem? One way, there are multiple ways actually. One way is to work with the angle bisector theorem. Okay? So, I really want you to understand this theorem because this is very useful in different parts of mathematics. And then I will show you how you can use this theorem to solve this problem. Okay? So what is the angle bisector theorem? That's the question number one. It simply says that if you have a triangle, let's say X, Y, Z, any triangle, and if you have the angle bisector, that is X, Z, P, suppose. So these two angles are equal. That's the angle bisector of angle X. Then, then, X, Y by X, Z, the length of X, Y divided by the length of X, Z is equal to Y, T by Y, Z. Y, T by Y, Z. This is what the content of the angle bisector theorem is. Now, I'll tell you how you can remember this or how you should be thinking about this. Well, the angle YXZ, that is the angle X, think about the two sides of the angle, that is XY and YXZ. You have to take the ratio of those two sides. That's what I have written here. XY and XZ. The ratio of the two sides which makes the angle. That is equal to the ratio in which the opposite side is divided. So, ratio of containing sides is equal to ratio in which opposite side is divided. Okay? So, how can you prove this particular theorem or result? Because one of the things that I tell again and again to students is that in mathematics, Always, always try to understand the proof because therein lies the logic which you can use in other problems as well. The proof does not end, the proof does not end at that particular theorem. The strategy of proof is useful in other problems as well. So you must know how a particular theorem is proved and small depth. You should try to think about each theorem 
as an exercise problem and try to solve them on your own like you would solve a problem. Maybe and maybe you can discover the proof. Many Chinta students do that. They think about a theorem as an exercise problem. They try to solve it and they get it right and they discover the proof on their own. It's an excellent exercise. Time consuming but excellent exercise. So, how can you prove it? How to prove this? If you are new to this idea, let me give you a hint how you can do it. And then I want you to comment how you did it actually on your own. Okay? So, what you do is you from the point T, you draw a line that is parallel to XZ. Uh, XY, I'm sorry. XY. So, this is, let's call this point R. So, construct P R parallel to X Y. Okay. Now in this particular picture, there is an isosceles triangle. Can you tell me what is the isosceles triangle in the comment section? And that isosceles triangle is your clue how to prove the angle bisector theorem. So give it a try and put that in the comment section. Let me see how you do it. Okay. Now, let's come back to this problem. The second thing you would need is the Pythagoras theorem. Pythagoras theorem. In fact, the other day I was teaching this to one of the students and we were discussing how Pythagoras theorem was known to the Babylonians and the Egyptians thousands of years before Pythagoras lived and how there is a proof of Pythagoras theorem in the Sulva Sutra in India, dating 800 years before Pythagoras. So, it's really a common geometric knowledge often attributed to Pythagoras. You should look up the proof given in Sulva Sutra. It's very fascinating. It's all, it's available in the internet. Okay. Now, let's get back to this. What is the Pythagoras theorem? I'll just let you know if you are new to this again. If you have a right angle triangle, then, and I'll just say the statement of this. Then, if this is A, this is B, and the side opposite to the right angle is H for hypotenuse. Then, A square plus B square is equal to H square. That is the Pythagoras theorem. Most of you know this, so I'm not going to spend more time on this. All right? So now let's use these two tools to actually solve the problem from ISI entrance 2023. So I'll copy this problem. Let me copy this picture. And I will paste it here. This is number three, which is basically the solution. So the first step is to find out AB is to find out AB. So, we use Pythagoras theorem. AB square plus BC square is equal to AC square. We know this. So, what is BC square? AB square, we want to know. BC square, we can bring it to the other side. So, we have AC square minus BC square. Now, AC is 1. So, we have AB square equal to 1 minus BC is X. So, 1 minus x square or AB is equal to square root of 1 minus x square. So, this entire length is 1 minus x square square root of that. Okay. That's great. So, we have the length of AB. What we want, and this is the strategy, finally, we want CD. That's our goal. CD. So, you know what I notice? I notice that this is also a right triangle. C, B, D is a right triangle. And I already know the length of BC. I already know the length of BC. So, if I can find out the length of BD, then I will be able to solve this problem. So, find BD. 
That's my next mission. Once we have BD, we can use Pythagoras theorem to find CD. Right? So to do that, to find BD, we have to use the angle bisector theorem. So it's given that CD is the angle bisector of angle C. That's what's given. So what we have is that CA, so applying, let's write that, applying angle bisector theorem, we find that CA over CB, CA over CB, CA over CB is equal to AD over BD. CA over CB is equal to AD over BD. Is equal to AD over BD. So we already know that CA is 1 and CB is X. So 1 over X is equal to AD over BD. Now we just add 1 to both sides. Why do we do it? And it's very important why we do this. Notice that we want to find out BD, right? If we can find BD, if we can find BD, then we can use Pythagoras theorem in the smaller triangle and we'll be able to find CD, right? So how do we find BD? All right. So what we do is we will add one both sides. So we have x plus 1 divided by x is equal to AD plus BD divided by BD. But AD plus BD is simply AB whose length we know. 1 minus x squared. Square root of 1 minus x squared. So square root of 1 minus x squared divided by BD is what we want. Okay. So we are almost done. We have to find out BD. So BD is equal to square root of 1 minus x squared times x divided by 1 plus x. Okay? So that's the length of... So I just cross multiplied stuff. That's all. So now, in this triangle, in this yellow triangle now, the one I'm sort of coloring yellow, we know BD, we know BC, we can find CD using Pythagoras theorem. So, BD we know, BC is X, so we can find out CD using Pythagoras theorem. So, I will leave the final calculation to you. I will leave the final calculation to you and I would like you to comment it in the comment box. And, um, you know, what's fun about this problem? Well, this can also be solved using something called Stewart's theorem. Stewart's theorem. That's a bit of an overkill, given that this problem is simpler. So maybe in some other video, I can talk to you about Stewart's theorem. Actually, in this channel, there are plenty of problems which we did using Stewart's theorem. So you can search for it. If you have more ideas or other techniques to solve this problem, let us know in the comment section. Thank you for joining in today and I will see you in the next one.